Welcome to a new chapter here. We're going to talk about acceleration now and bridge into kinematic equations. And this unit is super important because a lot, a lot, a lot of this entire semester stuff is going to build off this chapter. Acceleration is going to be a big deal. All right, so we have learned about position, right? Position is, um, you know, if you move your position, you have a vector, which is called your displacement. All right. Then you have, if you are um, then going to move around, you can have a velocity. Uh, velocities are just a velocity, right? And that is your displacement, right, x, divided by uh, the time it took you to be displaced. All right. And since your displacement's a vector, it has a direction, right? And it has a, um, like a plus minus or something, right? And it has a distance. Right? In the same way, since this is a vector, then velocity is a vector. Now we're going to talk about acceleration. And acceleration is when the velocity changes. All right? And so that means two things. All right? Acceleration can be a change, is a change in velocity, but a velocity is both speed and direction. Okay? So you can change your speed or your direction or both, and it's still an acceleration. So if I'm going 20 miles an hour and I go to 40 miles an hour, Boom, that's a change in speed. That's a, that's a velocity change. That's an acceleration. But if I'm going 20 miles an hour and I turn a corner, that is a change in direction. So that's also acceleration. So if I had a race car on a circular track and it was going around and around and around at the same speed, it would still be accelerating because it was changing its direction. All right, it's pretty easy. A is our variable, all right? And we see that it is the change in velocity divided by the change in time. All right, and units are going to be in meters per second squared because these are meters per second, right? Meters per second. And then the t here, that's going to be in time. That's going to be in seconds, all right? But it's over seconds, so you see meters per second squared, all right? And we'll talk about this one in class, uh, what you might do for, like, a car or something. All right, so let's take a motion graphy kind of things. We know that this velocity graph shows you stopped and then moving forward faster and faster and faster and faster. Okay. If this were a displacement graph and you were doing that sort of thing, walking away from the zero point, you would know that the slope here right, would be the, the, the displacement divided by the time, right? okay. the rise over the run. So if we look at a velocity graph, all right, we can look at the rise here, and that is now a velocity change. Okay over the run, which is a time. So the slope of velocity over time graph is going to be change in velocity over time. That is what our acceleration is. Okay. So when we're looking at a velocity over time graph, the slope of that graph is now acceleration. The slope of a position graph is velocity. The slope of a velocity graph is acceleration. 